Hi, this is Bryn Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today I'm going to show you a database that is very helpful for primary documents for historical research, the California Digital Newspaper Collection. To get to the library homepage, click on the menu from the school homepage, click on the plus sign next to Student Support, and scroll down the submenu to Library between Counseling and Tutoring. Once there, under the Databases button, please notice the Ask a Librarian button. This is 24-7 reference chat assistance. If you have questions while you're doing your research, chat with us and we will help you. When you go to the databases, you have multiple options. If you start from All Databases, this gives you a list of all the databases SMC currently subscribes to, alphabetically by title, with a short list of what's included within the database. If you're doing historical research, we have a number of very good databases for this. But today we're going to look at one called the California Digital Newspaper Collection. This particular collection is very useful, but not necessarily user friendly. So you can search for specific terms, people, places, events. You can browse by title of a particular publication. You can browse by date, by county, or by tag. So, for example, if I wanted to look for um, information about the end of the U.S. Civil War, I know that it was declared ended on April 9th, 1865. So I can browse this particular database by date. It goes back to 1846. So I scroll up to 1865. I look for April. And within April, I won't look for the day, in part because it takes a little time for news to get across the country to the newspapers, particularly when they're using telegraphs, um, but also because many of the newspapers in 1865 didn't publish over the weekend. So I'm going to go to the 10th and take a look there, and it looks like there are issues from the Daily Alta California, the Red Bluff Independent, the Sacramento Daily Union, and the Stockton Independent. I'm going to try the Sacramento Daily Union to see what I get. And you'll notice that this is literally the images from microfilm, as if they were microfilmed. Here it will give you the contents of this particular newspaper. So I can scroll down and see what they were talking about. Glorious news. Let's take a look at that. Glorious news, surrender of Lee and his whole army to Grant. This is an official news dispatch from the War Department of Washington, April 8th, 1865. And this tells about the surrender of General Lee and his army to Lieutenant General Grant on the terms proposed by General Grant and the end of the Civil War. So if I decide I like this, I can right click and I can say clip this article. And it will give me only this particular article. And if the article goes on to more than one page, it will give me the other clips from the other page as well. At that time, I can right click again. Hmm. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But what I can do is I can save the image to my PC. If it doesn't allow me to print, which in this case, it's not letting me because it's longer than one page. And at that point, I can manipulate the image, cut it, make it um, printable, and add it to my paper. Or I can extract part of it and use it for a quote or um, an illustration in my paper. So this is how you use the California Digital Newspaper Collection to find primary documents for history research. If you have any questions, Please ask a librarian via chat. Good luck with your search and be well.